this is Erkan's bike and uh, it's in for exhaust studs because what have you done? Hi, <laughs> it's exhaust is gone and uh, the board uh, um, studies manifold is stopped unfortunately and I'm, I'm hoping the this this good man is going to fix it so I will be going to Scotland so that's it. So he's uh, coming on the Highland Flingless this year, and we're uh, what is he now? Is it two weeks this Sunday? Yeah. Two weeks this Sunday, and he's snapped his exhaust bolts. So uh, it's my job to put them right. So keep watching because we're going to put this bike right and get Erkin ready for the fling. Thank you. Okay, so this is Erk's bike. It's a 2015 48. And uh, he does look after the bike, but it's just unfortunately succumbed to the dreaded nightmare of the exhaust studs. He was running short shots, and as you can see, I've currently got the front pipe off and uh, just done a little bit of remedial work to get to the stage of that, which I'll show you guys in a minute what I've exactly done. Okay, guys, so what we've actually done first is we've run the 4mm drill bit through into the broken stud, which was flush and uh, then gone up now to five mil and then tried the extractors, the easy outs, and they are just not gonna shift that broken stud. There's no way uh, in God's clean earth that they are gonna come out of there. So what we've done is uh, we're gonna take the 6.5 mil drill bit and then drill those out, which is enough then to re-thread that with a new thread with the kit that I'm going to show you in a bit and uh, that will take then the new stud. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, remember you don't want to push too far because you'll go straight into the cylinder head. Uh, so if you sort of look at the depth of the new stud with it, with it wound on, with the nut wound on, that's the sort of depth you're looking at maximum. Maybe even just a quarter of an inch before, that's fine. So what I normally do is just take something thin, a bit of poke down there, that's a little file, you can put your finger onto it, pull that out, and then that gives you a gauge of how deep it is. So if you sort of match that up to there, Okay, I know it's awkward there, I'm holding the phone, but we're not far off there, are we? That's about right. Okay, folks, so the kit that I use specifically for cleaning these threads out is made by Snap-on. There's many more on the market, but this is the one that I use. So I'm just going to give you a shot of this. And this has everything you need to re-clean the threads and re-cut them on, especially most of it being Harley, because this is a metric and imperial set, so it's got everything on there. So the tool for today that we want is the 516th, because the exhaust stud here is on a 516th thread. So what we're gonna do now is pop that into the cylinder head and then re-cut through with that, and then that's enough then to take the new stud. Okay, apologies, it's very difficult to get the light right. It's probably one of the most difficult places to light up to show you guys what I'm doing, but we've got the thread cutter and restorer now inside the hole on a socket extension onto a 3 8 ratchet. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and tighten this up now and then cut the thread. <laughs> weld on the nut we've put over the stud the broken stud and then hopefully the heat will help uh, to penetrate that when we extract it so if it comes out in one then spot on if it doesn't then we're gonna have to drill that one as well so let's go ahead and weld that stud okay I'll just give you a close-up on that folks so So we just welded that now to that, so hopefully with a little bit of luck we should be able to extract that. Okay folks, so the second stud has been an absolute pain, so we tried the welding. 
as you've seen i've tried it four times and i've turned the heat up on the welder each four times uh, for each individual nut and none of them worked it's too far gone on the threads to do that so it's absolute pain in the ass time uh, but we've managed to drill it out at the moment to four mils so we're going to take it to 6.5 before running the 516s tap through so you can just see at the moment i've put the 516s tap through on the top hole which is there using this extension which has got the tap on the end of that because of the way the frame is it's awkward uh, to get a standard tap in so I always use this extension I've used this for years it's really has pulled me out the shit on a, a number of occasions when I've done jobs like this in the past so we're going to cut that thread put that stud in it and then get the other one drilled out to 6.5 put the other stud in it and then we should be home okay folks so we've got the second stud drilled and fitted now uh, we've managed to get it about three quarters of the way uh, on the other one I've got it probably about another sort of six mil in uh, but because it's so tight that whatever's inside it's so hard it just will not drill I don't know if you can see on the camera view there I've got about 30 drill bits on the floor and what I had to do in the end was uh, use a piece of steel bar and weld the drill bit into it so you had the clearance on the frame here so you can work here a bit of tape around the frame to protect it just so you've got that angle to drill on the second stud this one's not so bad the, the lower one here is an absolute pain and that was really really hard it's took me yeah the best part of trying 20 or 30 odd drill bits to try and get them to uh, get that drilled out for whatever reason so obviously going back to the welding one I really thought putting the amount of heat in that did that I would have extracted that with welding and not on the other one obviously not uh, but if I do this job in the future the heads are coming off I'm not going to mess around it's just Irk needs his bike for this weekend and the Highland Fling and I really didn't have the time to start stripping this down I've got enough uh, jobs to do you see apart from this uh, to get this bike ready for Irk so it's uh, it's one of those things it'll either come away in 10 minutes or it'll be a bastard this one was an absolute bastard but we've got the stud in so yeah, anyway, this is the stud in position. Now you can see we've got one there and the other one at the top there. So so it has been a right bastard because of the access and because of the frame. So just showing you again now the drill bit modification, which is there. A uh, little piece of tube. And then a 6.5 drill bit just weld it on to there so that gives you that angle in here so it clears the frame otherwise the drills resting against here with the chuck and you haven't got the room to get in now well, okay folks so away from the camera because we're not going to bore you with all that but uh, we've put the bike back together now okay Let's have a quick run through. So just remember as well, I don't think I did mention earlier on when I tried welding the nuts on the broken stud earlier, uh, the battery has been disconnected and the main fuse pulled as well. Uh, so just remember if you're ever gonna do that, always disconnect the battery, pull the main fuse, ignition on, um, and then battery leads off. And then that way you're not gonna have any problems with your ECM and everything when you reconnect and start the bike back up. Um, so anyway, what we've had to do is just double, I don't know if you can see that, but we have have double nutted, can't see, it's on there anyway, there's the top one and then the one underneath, just about see it there on camera shot in the middle, we've double nutted that anyway, uh, usually when you do put your new uh, studs in and the nuts you will have to re-tighten them uh, after so many miles when the engine's got hot and warm. Just to help that along the way, because we are doing about 1,400 miles around Scotland and we will have some tools with us, I've double nutted that. So if it does, or it did start to come loose, the second nut will stop that happening. They've got a flange on them as well. Uh, so that will stop that uh, coming loose, hopefully. Uh, so it's short shots. We've got the heat shields back on. Tighten them, done a little bit of remedial work on the brackets with a little bit of rust. We've painted that up as we always do when anything comes in here. 
and uh, we're just about done. We've just got to reconnect everything back up, put the seats on and then give the bike a try. Right, quick wipe down on the bike. Check on all the nuts and bolts. Everything's back together again. Uh, what do we need? So that is the process of removing the broken studs on A48 and uh, let's be honest, the second one did not go to plan. The first one drilled out brilliant as it should, thinking the second one was going to be the same and I think whatever was in there was made of kryptonite because I went through about 30 drill bits uh, to get you know deep enough to get the new stud in which is it's, it's quite uh, extraordinary. I don't know what the hell was in there before or whether it's been done before or something's been broken there but that was an absolute nightmare. Uh, but obviously the little adapts are made well in the drill bit to the extension is what you need to clear that frame on the front to get your drill bit straight. And in the end, it works all right. So plenty of swearing and everything that was off camera, maybe I should have left in the vlog. Uh, but after drilling, you know, I've drilled a thousand studs out in my, in my lifetime on heavy plant machinery, wagons, classic cars, everything in the name of, and bikes as well. And that was one of the worst I've ever done. Um, just purely because of the pain factor of whatever was in there that wouldn't let me drill it. So, and that was with uh, expensive, you know, heavy duty drill bits as well, tungsten drill bits, diamond drill bits, whatever. And uh, not, nothing would touch it. But um, in the end, it eventually gave way. So there we go. At the end of the day, the bike's complete and that's all that matters. So again, if this is the first time you're watching Alcamoto, this is one of my garage series. We have plenty of ride series and everything else as well on the channel, so please do look back in the back catalog. Um, I'll be back soon on the road. We've got two ride outs coming soon. We've got a big ride out with Sports of Sickness on the 48. I'll, I'll be on, possibly on the next vlog. After that, we've got the Scotland tour as well with uh, a lot of sportsters on that one as well. I will be on the Pan Am. We've got some work to do on the Pan Am. I've got a new back tire to put on that and get that finished and tour ready. That uh, ride out is imminent, that's a week long in the Scottish Highlands. And uh, also we've got some more detailing coming in, we've got some paint correction and detailing coming in in the next two or three weeks. And another big name coming in uh, for his bike to be detailed in this garage. So keep a lookout for that one soon. Keep a lookout on the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Please do like the video and comment if you dare. But on that note, folks, I will be seeing you guys soon. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.